Well, welcome again to Clean Nuts, and uh, today we're off on a bit of an adventure. I'm going to buy a Westfield, which is a home-built car, uh, built in the year 2000, and laid idle until 2016, 16 years. So, uh, and then it was then it was recommissioned as a bill for about two grand, uh, recommissioning it. I think there's a bit of a story as to why it hasn't been driven. Uh, it's either been built wrong, or there's a fault with it. Or, um, and when I spoke to the man, I asked a lot of questions, got some good answers, but I suspect there's something wrong with it. So, uh, and he very quickly went from a reasonable price to a very cheap price. So, uh, let's do the investigation work and see what's wrong with it. Well, I'm back. What a journey. 185 miles each way. That is 370 miles round trip in the day. So I picked the car up and uh, as I thought, it's a four speed gearbox and the gear stick is virtually buried under the dash. So that needs fixing, it needs a five speed gearbox, it needs a remote extension fitting. Uh, there's a few other little problems. It, uh, it discharges the battery overnight and when you, when you touch the battery terminal on, uh, you can hear a, a, a relay clicking. So that needs investigating. And the seats that are in it are too big for the car. Um, it's a narrow-bodied car, as I mentioned. And you need every millimetre of space um, to get in it. And it's got seats on runners, which are just taking up too much space. So uh, they'll need changing. And there's no weather equipment or doors. The doors are uh, optional anyway. So, uh, but you need some kind of weather protection, even if it's a tonneau so you can park up if it's raining and, and keep the thing covered. So there's a bit of work there. Um, but interestingly, it looks to mileage. The, the, the wiring's fresh. The, there's a bit of corrosion on the block. Look, I'll get on it in the morning and we'll have a good look at it together. What I failed to mention is it's done 434 miles in 20 or 19 years, which is amazing. Well, there she is in the workshops. Let's go around it. It's a Q-Ridge. I mean, it's assembled out of used parts. Swept wings. Mini light wheels, new tyres. Roll bar looks a bit high. Where's the gear stick? It's buried right up there, look. Nice dash there. Should we see if it starts? Oh, I found out why the um, battery is draining. Well, I know it's draining because there's a, 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 a relay going. But I found a battery cutoff in the weirdest place. Well, she runs, I can't seem to find the main beam switch. I found the main beam switch anyway. There on that pedal. Where's that coming from? 
I quickly worked out it's a stain from a previous journey, so nothing to worry about. So let's get it on the ramp and have a look at it. But first I've got to move the Sebring. I've just fitted a Weber 45 carb on it and uh, haven't run it for about a year. So let's see if it starts. Look at this car, 20 years old. It's not new. This is a real find. Live axle. Hello, what a passenger? Well, the plot thickens. Someone's welded a plate in here. And I think recently. Because there's a... an earth point. For the welder there. It's a four speed.
with a bolt-on remote. Bolt on gear shift to four speed. So there you have it, another low mileage find from Clean Nuts, a Westfield SE built in the year 2000, unused for 16 years, done just 430 miles, the classic colour scheme of the Prisoner film, green with a yellow nose of the Lotus that was in that film, the swept wings, pretty dash. Awful seats and the lusty 1600 Crossflow Kent engine built by Ford with the beautiful Weber twin carbs. So, needs a Type 9 5 speed gearbox, needs sorting out seating because you need every millimetre you can get in this car. But I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, and I hope you look forward to more videos on this car as we sort it out.